Aruna in Spain with Stranglers, uh, early 90s, and we're doing a beach festival, a uh, free beach festival, I think. Anyway, it's being put on by the kingpin of the area, big gig, and we set up, we do everything, and uh, this guy, uh, they're going to do an announcement, he's going to come on and do a big speech just before the Stranglers come on, and um, so he comes on to address the people, and it goes on, and it goes on, and it goes on, and everyone's getting a little bit wound up, and uh, so Stranglers decide that they're going to start the show. And so the mic gets cut at front of house, so nobody can hear what this guy's saying now. Uh, and he's beginning to look a bit of an idiot, but he can still hear himself in the monitors. So as far as he was concerned to start with, he was still going out. And then I think he realises that the mic's been cut, and the Stranglers came out to start their set, and they're chugging along the beginning of the set, and they and they start circling him, all right, and they basically tell you to get off the stage. And he's getting a bit more irate and Jet Black starts throwing drumsticks at him like this to get him off the stage. And they're all hitting him. Jet was a really good shot with his drumsticks. <clears throat> and didn't miss him once. And this guy's getting really, really angry. And he picks up the stage box at the side of the stage and starts swinging it round his head because he's going to wipe out the drummer with it. And at this point, Bruce comes on stage and gives him one of his bear hugs to kind of stop him doing it. And he sits there, he's like, stop, stop. And suddenly all this security jump on Bruce and it's all kicking off. And they all get shuffled off the side of the stage and the Stranglers carrying on and the show's really kicking off and it's pumping and all of this, this embarrassment for this guy is going on on the stage. He's literally been dragged off the stage by the Stranglers at his own concert. Um, and he's, very, he's mad by this stage. And I think he then says, all right, I'm going to go home and get my gun. And he disappears off. Stranglers are carrying on. I think the tour manager at this stage is now being pinned up against the wall in the dressing room, saying, you know, by security, saying, what the fucking hell do you think you're playing at? You know, and, and it's all kicking off there. Anyway, the Stranglers decide that the best thing they can do is that when they finish the show, they're not going to do an encore. Uh, they're going to go straight back to the, the hotel, do a runner. Um, and uh, so the tour manager comes on the stage and he comes around to the side and he's like, listen, if you've got any hotel bags and stuff just chuck them in the bag now uh we're gonna do a runner uh and you guys are gonna stay behind and pack the gear up okay <laughs> i suppose that's what we've got to do fine okay so anyway the show carries on the show ends and uh sure enough the stranglers go off the stage and everyone's asking for more and nothing's going to happen and they've all got in the van and they've shot off back to the hotel and we kind of gingerly at some point now come onto the stage and start wrapping the gear up and eventually the crowd sort of quiets down and starts to disperse as they realise nothing's going to happen. And we're packing all the gear away and we've got this little van, this little transporter that takes us to the hotel with our, our little bits of backline, just the main core bits. And we've loaded them all up into the van and, and we're waiting on the driver to come down. And all of a sudden down the ramp comes this guy and he's got a gun in his hand. And he's like, you know, he's coming down the ramp and Bruce is sitting there and he's like, well, I can't just, we can't just say nothing, you know. He said, oh, and it was, so Bruce decides, like, the only thing I can do is go up and confront him. So he walks over to him with his hands up and he just says, I am so, so sorry. So, so sorry, sir, that what, you know, what occurred, I, I can't apologise enough. And this guy says, no, he says, you guys, he says, I'm fine. He said, I understand and, and that's no problem. He says, your drummer. I'll kill him. And we were like, I'm not even going to answer that one. So we just kind of get back to the van. And anyway, our driver comes along and and uh, picks us up. And we go back to the hotel. And our hearts are pumping, you know. And we get back to the hotel and uh, check into the rooms. And, and I just said to the, the receptionist, I said, uh, can you tell me what room Jet Black's in? And she said, I think I was in room 6684 or something like that. And she said, yeah, she said 669. And I said, do you mind if I change rooms, please, to a completely different floor? <laughs> I said, I don't want her to come in and choose the wrong room, do you know what I mean, and get me. 